You can't handle the truth. That's what Colonel Nathan R. Jessup said 25 years ago in a film that taught us how powerful words and the truth can be. That same year, this leader commanded a few good men of his own. Jimmy Johnson was the coach of the Dallas Cowboys, and truth be told, a master motivator who had a way with words. Four quarters of football, anything can happen. In psychology, you got the self-fulfilling prophecy, the Pygmalion effect. I was never afraid to tell our team, the best game we play will be the last game we play. In 1992, he led the Cowboys to the first of back-to-back -back Super Bowl wins. And if you listen to what he was saying back then, it might help you understand how in just four years, he turned a 1-15 in team into world champions. Let the mind control the body, not the body control the mind. Johnson was a psychology major and football player at the University of Arkansas. Football's Freud quickly psychoanalyzed and reacted to his player's behavior. All right, you know I'll let you do that. When it comes to moving men, there is no one better than Coach Johnson. He once cut a backup linebacker for falling asleep in a meeting. Yet he was smart enough to say that had Troy Aikman dozed off, his reaction would have been slightly different. I would have walked back there and I'd have said, Troy, wake up. And I'd gone back to my seat. Oh, oh, Michael, two hands. Don't be cute, don't be pretty, be good. It's called Big D for a reason. And the 92 Cowboys were full of big names and gigantic egos. Showtime. They were showmen who craved attention. But Johnson made it painfully clear that substance was more important than style. Come on, let's go! Keep your head, keep your head in the ball game, let's go! And that winning was his priority. Losing is unacceptable, unacceptable. Don't be cute, don't be pretty, be good. And they were. Oh, he's still going, oh, he's going to score, he's got the five, it's a touchdown. Six members of the offense were selected to the Pro Bowl. And while no defender made the trip to Hawaii, that unit finished ranked number one in the league. Dallas Cowboy defense, unconscious. <laughs> hey, you know, when you ever go after a big gorilla, you don't ever hit him lightly. You hit him with everything you got. Yeah! In 1992, the big gorillas resided in the NFC East. Dallas opened the season with wins over the previous two Super Bowl champions. But if they were going to reach a Super Bowl of their own and establish themselves as the team of the 90s, they'd have to beat the team of the 80s. Aikman, a straight drop, good protection. Over the middle, it's caught by Kelvin Murphy at the two, touchdown! This team's going to Pasadena. It's a bowl, Coach Hart, we're in front of the fans, baby. How about them, Cowboys? Yeah! yeah! OK, how about them Cowboys, huh? <laughs> In Super Bowl 27, the Cowboys forced nine turnovers. And the turnovers are telling the story. And put up 52 points. How about them Cowboys indeed? Jimmy Johnson's words still resonate today. And when Troy Aikman addressed his former team at their 25th reunion, it seemed fitting that what he chose to share with them were words crafted by his former coach. For those of us that played for Jimmy Johnson, he would give a speech about being the best. And if you were with the Cowboys for any length of time, you heard this speech probably a dozen times. The premise of the speech is built around one simple question. How many people can say that at some point in their life, they were the best? Jimmy Johnson's taking his team from the absolute worst to the absolute best. Whether that's the best CEO, whether that's the best stage manager, whether that's the best attorney, dentist, doctor, whatever it may be. And it's not just related to professions. You know, Jimmy would say, hey, what about being the best husband? What about being the best brother, the best father, the best mother? And when you think about it, there's not many people that can say that. 
because they don't have an opportunity to really be put on a platform where you can truly measure yourself and say that you were the best. For those moments in time, we were the best. And that's a great feeling. How about them, Cowboys? Yeah!